Welcome to my second class of Korea series. In the first class, we already discussed what are the applications in engineering field in the four-year series, who is invented four-year series, what you need to study for four-year series. This thing, and also, if you want to uh, study for four-year series, what are the prerequisites are required to study for four-year series? These things we discussed in the my first class. Now welcome to the my second class. In this second class, we are going to discuss how to construct a four-year series for the function in the corresponding interval. Now before I'm going to start engineering level to construction of four-year series, let us first try to know generally how to construct Fourier series for the given function. If you want to construct a Fourier series for the function, one of the condition is function must be defined in certain interval. For example, here I consider f of x is defined in the interval a comma a plus 2n. No, 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 like z, z, uh, just like 0 to 2 or minus by 2 pi, like that. Keep in mind, if you want to construct a Fourier series, function must be defined in certain limit. Now, after, even though the function is defined in certain limit, you can't step into the construction of Fourier series. It must be satisfies some conditions. The conditions are, function is is a periodic function in the corresponding interval. For example, here I consider the function is defined in the interval a comma a plus 2 here. Therefore, function is a periodic function in the interval a comma a plus 2 here. And also, function is continuous in the corresponding interval. Not necessary, it must be a continuous. It may be a, having a point of discontinuity. The condition is it must be having finite number of simple point of discontinuities in the interval. And also, function may be having a finite number of maximum or minimum value in the corresponding interval a comma a plus 2l or it may be don't have any maximum minima in the corresponding interval a comma a plus 2l. Once you satisfy these conditions, then we move to construct Fourier series for the function in the corresponding interval. Suppose it's not satisfied any one of these conditions, it's not conditions, it's not possible to construct Fourier series. Combining these three conditions, they're treated as directed conditions. If you want to consider in one line, if you want to construct a Fourier series in the corresponding interval, it must be satisfies directed, directed conditions. Suppose it's not satisfied any one of these conditions, now we are not uh, possible to construct Fourier series in the corresponding interval. But in engineering level, not necessary to verify for the function in the corresponding interval whether it satisfies or not. What are the functions we are going to consider in engineering level and engineering textbook? Those already verified the function in the corresponding interval is satisfied the delicate condition. Your uh, job is only uh, to construct Fourier series in the corresponding interval. Imagine what are the functions we are going to expecting in engineering level is already verified. But I am explaining generally, in once you move to the core subject, there how to know where I am going to use Fourier series, Z transform, Fourier transform, wavelet transform, fast Fourier transform. If we want to know that, that's why I'm explaining generally how to construct Fourier series. The, the final thing, uh, conclusion is, if you want to construct the Fourier series, the function must be defined in the interval and also the function must be satisfied the conditions of territories. Otherwise, it's not possible to construct the Fourier series. For example, we already studied in the first order and first degree differential equation in first year. If you want to solve first term first degree differential equation using exact differential equation, it's not possible always. It must be satisfied one of the condition. What is the condition? Do m by do y equals do n by do s. Then only moving to construct or moving to find out the solution of the first term first degree differential equation. 
like that. If you want to construct the Fourier series in the corresponding interval, it must be satisfies these conditions. I already told in my previous class, whenever function is not periodic, there um, we are going to use instead of Fourier series is Fourier transform. Now, I move to the next step. Uh, no, don't uh, confuse. This is a general definition of construction of Fourier series. These condition must be satisfied. Then only move to construct the Fourier series. But in your level, not necessary to verify these conditions. Now, what are the functions we are going to consider in engineering level is already verified. Such type of function only they are going to ask in the exam and also they discuss in way with the textbook. Now, you have a function, for example, f of x is a function defined over interval a comma a plus 2n. I want to construct, this is a general, general construction for Fourier series. This is a general formula. Suppose function is defined in the interval a comma a plus 2n. What is the formula for construction of Fourier series? Formula for construction of Fourier series is a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin of n pi x by l where See, if you want to construct the Fourier series for the function, this is a formula. We can't construct directly without knowing a formula for a0, an and bn. Therefore, now finding a form, uh, values of a0, an and bn, the formula for finding a0 and uh, an and bn is 1 by l, 0 to my a towards the interval a to a plus 2l, f of x dx. A n is 1 by L, A to A plus 2 L, F of X, cos of N by X by L. And B n is 1 by L, A to A plus 2 L, F of X, sin of N by X by L with respect to X or DX. Now, we are, uh, we are thinking about how we get this formula. If we, here I am not going to derive how we get to finding the values of A0, A and B and for this formula. If we are, because this form, derivation is not included in your syllabus, if you are really interested to know how we get this formula, you refer uh, Gravel, your prescribed textbook, Gravel, the given, how we get the formula for finding A0, A and B and. Just I am going to take this as a formula for construction of Fourier series. This Fourier series is also called trigonometric series. Why they treated this series is also trigonometric series? Suppose expand this series after you substituting the values of a naught, a n and b n, we get in the combination of sine and cosine and sine charm. Sine and cosine terms are nothing but what? Trigonometry functions. The corresponding series is nothing but trigonometric series. Tri series means they having infinite number of terms. They treated as trigonometric series. Either they are going to use the word Fourier series or maybe trigonometric series. Both are must be same only. Now with the help of these formulas, first you find out the values of a naught, a n and b n. Then you substitute and simplify that. We get the corresponding function, the construction of Fourier series. A0, AN and BN are called Fourier quotients of the corresponding Fourier series. What are written the formula to find out these values of A0, AN and BN are nothing but formulas are called Euler's formula or Euler's formula for the corresponding Fourier series. In the next step, see always we are going to use this formula to construct the Fourier series very tedious, very lengthy. For student benefit point of view, I am going to consider there are two cases. The case number one is these two cases are nothing but the particular uh, cases of the general one. What is my uh, general one is? This is my uh, general f of x is defined over the interval a comma a plus 2n. 
Now, based on that, I'm going to consider two cases. Case number one. The case number one is nothing but f of x is, is a function defined over an interval 0 comma 2n. Means what is my a value is 0. Suppose put a is 0, the interval is changed to 0 to n. What is a Fourier series for this function defined over the interval? The same formula for construction of Fourier series a0 by 2 for n ranging from 1 to infinity, a n cos of n by x by l plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity, b n sin of n by x by l, where a0 formula is same thing, but we are changing the interval. What is our interval here? We are finding a, a a0 uh, value now uh, we are changing 1 by L, the interval is 0 to 2L, f of x dx and then an is nothing but 1 by L, 0 to L, 2L, f of x cos of n by x by L with respect to x. Similarly, bn formula is 1 by L, 0 to 2L f of x sin of n by x by l with respect to x. Now here, see whenever our interval start from 0, say 0 pi like that. Now my l is in the, throughout my Fourier series class, l denotes radian or radian or say positive integer set of positive integer. Okay? Either maybe L may be radian or maybe integer. It's just like 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi, 0 to yeah, 1, 0 to 4 like that. Whenever the lim in, uh, limit start from 0, in such cases, we are going to use first case, we are going to construct the Fourier series. Now move to the second case. Case 2. Is this also a particular case for the general one? f of x is, is a function over the interval minus l comma plus l. Means what's the value of a is minus l. a is equal to minus l that implies a plus 2l is what actually minus l plus 2l we get l. Therefore, the what's the interval minus l to l. What is the Fourier series for this uh, case interval minus l to l. It's the same formula a0 by 2 for summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin of n pi x by l. Now how to find out the values of a0, 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 a0 a n then a naught is 1 by L minus L to L f of x dx and then a n is 1 by L minus L to plus L f of x cos of n by x by L with respect to x b n is 1 by L minus L to L f of x sin of n by x by l with respect to x. Now, whenever the interval is in the form of, is in the uh, uh, form of minus 1 to 1 or minus pi to pi, minus 2 pi to pi, like that, in such cases, we are moving to second case, we have to construct the Fourier series. Now, instead of taking general a comma a plus 2l, what are the interval have? You go through any textbook, either belongs to the first case or maybe belongs to the second case. Therefore, students easy to know that how to consider the Fourier series. For student benefit, here I'm considering case number one and case number two. Case number one in, in my Fourier classes, always the interval start from zero. Case number two, the interval is in the form of minus L to plus L. 
Now, how to recognize psycho for first case or second case? Why don't you take one simple example for identification of the cases? Now, here, for example, for example, suppose I want to construct a Fourier series for f of x is equal to x square over the interval 0 to 2 pi. Yeah. The most of the students are doing mistake here. Whenever it start from 0, whenever I have to start from 0, I have to move for which case? First case. What's the first case says? 0 to 2L. You first, you, if you want to consider the Fourier series, first you have to know very carefully the value of L. Taking value of L is a very, very important. So, of course, you are not identified properly the value of L. Even though I spend half an hour to construct the Fourier series, you are going to lose full marks. Therefore, once you identify it from the interval, this is this interval is in the form of which case? First case. What's the first case interval is 0 to 2L. E equate 0 to 2L to the given interval, 0 to 2 pi. Then you compare the upper limit. 2L is equal to 2 pi. That implies what we get the value of L is pi. Once we get the value of L is pi, next try to find out what is n pi x by L. What is my n pi x by L? n pi x by L is pi is cancelled, we get n x. Based on that, we have to construct Fourier series for the function f of x over the interval 0, 2 pi. Okay? Then we get what's our Fourier series here, f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity, a n cos n x and then plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity, b n sin n x. Wait, what is my a naught is 1 by L. What is L? Formula is 1 by pi. 0 to 2 L is 2 pi. L is pi. F of x dx. What's the formula for finding a n is 1 by L is pi. 0 to 2 pi. F of x. Yeah. See, after you construct the Fourier series only, better I to write the a naught a n. a naught is nothing but what you written inside the summation. Instead of n, what we are going to take? f of x cos nx with respect to x. Because most of the students, while writing a formula for a0, an an and b, and they are doing mistake. Then if you want to overcome that, you go for this. Instead of bn, we have to replace it f of x sin nx with respect to x. And then you find out a0, an an and bn. We get the values for these Fourier quotients. Substitute in the... Uh, where in the Fourier series expansion, we get the corresponding Fourier series for each function x square. Now, first you identify the interval based on that to move to the next uh, step. In the next step is actually, for example, second example I'm going to take now. This example 2 is, for example, I want to construct a Fourier series for the function f of x is nothing but, say, some sin x over the interval 0, 2. Whenever you start from, it's better you to take 0, 3. Whenever the interval start from 0, I go for which case? First case. You go for first case means, how first you identify the value of L. How to identify the value of L? Equate to the general limit of the general limit of the first case, 0 to 2L. 3 is equal to 2L. That implies what is my L? 3 by 2. That implies what is my 1 by L is 2 by 3. Therefore, what is my n pi x by L? 1 by L is 2 n pi x by 3. You don't do it orally. I am requesting everyone, please do it manually. Then I have to avoid the mistake. Most of the students, they are not doing uh, uh, manually. They are going to take orally. Suppose you are not pick correct value of L, the entire construction is wrong. Must and should have to do it and immediately frax a second, we get the value of L and also N by X by L. Based on that, you construct the Fourier series. Suppose I'm going to take another one example, say the third example is Fourier series, so you have to construct the Fourier series for the function F of X equals, say, some cos X over the interval, uh, minus pi, comma, plus pi. Now here, observe carefully, this interval is belongs to which case? Second case. What is my second case interval? Minus L to L. First, you have to know what's the value of 
L. What's the value of L here? How to compare? You compare with what we did for the first case similar way. Compare with the limit of the second case to limit of the given interval. Take upper limit. What's the upper limit? L is equal to pi. For L is equal to pi, that implies what is my n pi x by L is n x. Now based on that, you construct the Fourier series. What is Fourier series? Is a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos n x and also summation n ranging from 1 to infinity d n sin n x and then you write the formula for a naught a n and d n. 1 by pi l is pi minus pi to plus pi f of x dx and also a n is what 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x cos n x with respect to x and also I have to write the formula for uh, b n. What is the formula for b n is 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi f of x sin n x with respect to x. Now, uh, this is a way to construct the Fourier series either belongs to the first case or belongs to the second case. First case is 0 to 2L. How to take the value of L in 0 to 2L? Equate upper limit of the first case is 2L to the upper limit of the given interval. Compare it. Simplify that. Automatically, we get the value of L. From that, you find out N by X by L. And then you construct the series. Suppose the Fourier given function, the corresponding interval is in the form of second case. What's the second case is? Minus L to L. In such cases, again, uh, same thing, equate that given interval to the up, uh, interval of the second, general interval of the second case, minus L to plus L. Equate, we get the value of L. And then simplify L. Find out uh, uh, corresponding N by X by L. And then you construct the Fourier series. The keep in mind, before going to construct the Fourier series, first you observe the interval. Either interval is belongs to the first case or second case. Whenever you start from zero, that is my first case. Whenever you start from negative to positive, that move, move to the second case. Based on that, apply the first case, you find out the value of L and find also find out N by X by L, you construct the Fourier series. And then suppose is in the form of second case, you compare with the upper limit of the uh, corresponding given interval, find out the value of n and then find out n by x by l, construct the Fourier series and also write the corresponding formulas for a naught, n and pn. And then you have to continue the rest of the thing. Thank you very much for uh, listening my talk. I'll come and explain some more cases in my next class. Thank you.